Hello everyone, this is Steve Johnson. Welcome to another 3-Minute Thriller, where we give you professional development in 3 minutes or less. In today's 3-Minute Thriller, you'll learn how to make a portion of a Google Sheet uneditable by students or fellow teachers. Let's say you want to share something, uh, like, a, like a sheet in this case, and you want a portion of it to be read by students and or te fellow teachers and not changed, but you want them to add information to other parts of that sheet. This is how you would do that. Now, I know that Sheets may be uh, new for a lot of people watching this, uh, and Google Sheets are great. They're a great resource that aren't used too much, um, but here's how you would protect a range of cells in a sheet. So I went ahead and I already created a, a Google Sheet, and I made this kind of orange section. I just typed in protect range. I don't want students to type here, or here, or here, or here. I do want students to type here, all right? So this is the range of cells that I want to protect. Uh, and this is the part, these are the cells I want them to contribute to. It's really easy. All I'm going to do is highlight, click and highlight this section of cells that I want to protect. Then I'm going to right mouse click, and I'm going to go to protect range. You can see that this little uh, box on the right hand side pops up. I'm going to click on set permissions. And then you can see that I can click on this radio button and show a warning when someone's editing this range, like don't, don't edit here. Or I can restrict it, right? I can restrict that range to only me. Or I can make it custom and I can add people that I want to be able to edit that portion. So right now I just picked, you know, I can edit it. As you can see, I can change the permissions right here. Right now I'm restricting to only me. But again, I could uh, customize that if I want. And so right now, students or fellow teachers would be able to type in all these cells. They would not be able to change what I put right here. Hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.